Jason Roth, Coal Alliance Agronomist with a crop consideration for you. I am laying down on a soybean field, but that is because I want to show you two diseases. Let's do some disease diagnostics. So the first one, which is not uncommon to see this time of year, is evidence right here. That is Phytophthora root rot. What do we see? We see a plant that is wilting. It can be often just one lone plant by itself in the middle of a lot of healthy plants. Uh, but we see a plant that's wilted, leaves that are, that are drying and desiccating, that are still holding onto the plant. Uh, and, and we also, what I'm trying to show here with my trowel, is just a browning that occurs from the soil line up the plant. And this sometimes can come quite a ways up the plant. You'll see a browning on the stem from the ground up. That is evidence of Phytophthora root rot. The other disease, which is a little unique to see this early, is right here. This is, well, sudden death syndrome or brown stem rot. The question is, is which one might it be? So we see that foliar symptomology and then we need to look at uh, what is going on in other places. So with sudden death syndrome, we tend to see the leaflets that are falling to the ground and some of the petioles that will stay attached to the plant. And if you look carefully at this plant right here, you can see petioles that are hanging on and the leaflets, well, they're on the ground. Right, that's evidence of sudden death syndrome. The other thing you wanna do is you wanna split the stems and look at what they, what the tissue looks like. So I've done that here with two different stems, two different plants. One is healthy, that's on the right, and I just want you to see how nice and white and healthy that tissue looks. The other one on the left is what sudden death syndrome looks like. So the center pith is usually still a bit white, um, whereas with brown stem rot, it would be totally brown. But then the tissue outside of that center pith is what it's turning brown it looks kind of sickly whereas if that was if that was brown stem rot it would actually still be white so those are the differences between brown stem rot and sudden death syndrome and what you can notice and what you need to look out for so i hope that's some healthy disease diagnostics and hope you have a great week take care